But can we please, we're gonna get started. I am dying. Giraffe neck mark and left, fuzzy in center, Coogs in right. I'm on third, look at that beautiful swing. Healy at shortstop, Dimu at second, Mighty Goat at first base with Kevin G.O.D. behind the plate. It's that time of year again where people start dropping videos and the community starts discussing new legends they want to see in next year's game. And by next year, I mean the game that should be coming out in the next few months. So I want to hear it. Let me know in the comment section down below. What new legends would you like to see in MLB The Show 21? What type of cards do you think we could get for those particular people? You know, would they fit into the Cy Young category, you know, an awards winner card? Or would you see a really good signature series or just a really good gold glove card? If you could make up a new tier of card, what would it be? Let me know in the comment section right now. Because in February, we're getting our first news on MLB The Show 21. It'll probably be the cover, but over the next couple of months, from February on, we're gonna start learning new things about the game and new legends will definitely be a part of that buildup. So today we're gonna take a look at some really cool designs from around the community. We'll talk about some legends that could potentially be in the game that I'm excited about being in the game. We don't have a release date yet, but we're getting more information in February. I've been getting really cool designs sent to me on social media over the last few weeks that are really sick. But can we please, we're gonna get started with the all MLB content creator team, apparently. Papa Squat Gaming dropped this on Twitter. I am dying. Giraffe neck mark and left, fuzzy in center, Coogs in right. I'm on third, look at that beautiful swing. Healy at shortstop, Dimu at second, Mighty Goat at first base with Kevin G.O.D. behind the plate. And then he had an attached tweet where he also made one for Kyle. <laughs> from the home run derby. Sammy Adams, he's gonna blow up in 21. I'm so pumped for Adam. And then Gunsky, who is a starting pitcher card, but it says Silver Slugger and he has a batting helmet on. What is going on? Did you know that recently Major League Baseball made the Negro League's records official Major League Baseball records? And I had already talked to Twitch chat a few times about you know, what? does that open any doors for MLB The Show and Diamond Dynasty to do Negro League in MLB The Show? Like, could we do a franchise mode with that? Could we implement that into MLB? Like, let me tell you, if I can pitch with Satchel Page, I'll lose my mind. And then, of course, my guy A-Dubs drops this bomb on Twitter. Check this out. Satchel Page, the Josh Gibson 99 overall diamond. Look at Josh. You've never heard of Josh Gibson. Look at his statistics from when he played professional baseball. This is just insane oscar charleston pop lloyd ray dandridge my guy a dubs also put together a little mock-up of the 2021 world baseball classic featuring carlos correa dd gregorius g-man Choi, you darvish jose abreu aaron judge manny machado and anthony rizzo all representing eight different flags and i really really like these designs the wbc and diamond dynasty would be sick because then i mean if they had rights to that they could do like throwback stuff i mean obviously they would still have to get individual likeness rights so like if they wanted to do an adam jones throwback world baseball classic they would still need adam jones's rights as an individual but they could do so much with that set i mean even a christian yelich throwback world baseball classic he smashed for team usa a few years ago that would be a really cool set that they could add in the game and i'm got to think it would be easy for them to implement right the major league baseball would want them doing this and we've seen like international stuff implemented to other games like nhl for example so we know it's possible also a dub sent me a draft of a set he's currently working on it's a comic design based off speed demon so be on the lookout for him to release the full art for these makeup designs on twitter he's these are insane willie wilson and billy hamilton are the two guys that they use as an example i'm really excited to see how the rest of that work comes out mlb20 dot card art is a page i've been following for a while now they made a few designs that they tagged me in that i thought were pretty sick and we're just gonna browse their page really quick because they do a really good job first and foremost rest in peace to hank aaron this is a really cool signature series that he made up um, same day. Hank Aaron's a guy that I've really wanted in Diamond Dynasty for a few years. I was hoping that we were going to get who's one of the guys towards the top of the list that I was hoping we would get in the next gen and new consoles. So, I mean, I mean, that could still be a thing, but rest in peace to Hank Aaron. It's a really cool signature series. I like the thicker shadow that he put around the actual Hank Aaron player 
on that card. Jim Tomey Silver Slugger card and a Fred McGriff Silver Slugger card. Can somebody please make a Jim Tomey Phillies card? It's like people forgot he played there. He hit milestone home runs for the Phillies. Could it be? Could it be? It is out of here! Number 400! He did a really good job with this Derek Jeter cover and menu screen design. Everyone would love having an MVP Josh Hamilton card back in the game. He had a diamond in the game a few years ago. It was always right-handed heavy, though. He would smash righties and was okay against lefties. But in BR especially, his cards ray. And this is actually the stats mock-up, so as you can see, Smashes righties okay against lefties, but had a really pretty swing in the game every year that he was in it. Mookie Betts cover design concept, pretty cool. Carlos Beltran rookie of the year card. I, I mean, that's nice and all, but I want my 99 signature series Beltran. We need that back in the game desperately. Those stats right there on that rookie of the year card just are not cutting it for me, man. Scott Hattenberg from Moneyball. That's actually kind of cool. The community would love that, let's be real. Phil Necro, no, no, no. I'm shutting that one down right now. He's got a whole slide of rookie of the year covers here. So we got your Don Alvarez rookie, Pete Alonzo, Ronald Acuna, and Aaron Judge, all of which would be really, really good rookie of the year cards in the game. Here's a pretty cool design, fan favorites. Right, they almost kind of look like ticket stubs. Uh, a community team of the year is something that I was I was hoping that we would get, that we didn't get. Community team of the year should be a thing where everyone votes online. We get like two cards of every position. They do like bracket style voting and just let the community make the decision and then drop a boosted version of all those cards. You know, not even all of them have to be 97 to 99 because if you get those 90 to 94 overall cards, but you make them good enough, you know, those will be really usable cards in the second and third round, uh, diamond round in Battle Royale. So that's how those cards can be really effective. This man made a 99 Prime Ryan Fairbend card. How did I miss this? Nope, passing on R.A. Dickey. Mike Trout signature. But as you can see, this guy makes some really, really cool designs and he's always coming up with different concepts throughout the year so make sure you go shoot him a follow make sure you follow everyone in the description box down below the few guys that i showed some of their artwork for and you can check out fuzzy's video where he talked about a bunch of different legends that he would like to see in the game the top guys for me going into mlb 21 pitchers i want to see pedro martinez I wanna see Steve Carlton, I wanna see Randy Johnson, and I wanna see Sandy Koufax. For the hitters, I kinda of just want Ryan Howard and Prince Fielder back. I'm really only gonna use those guys in BR because they're not gonna be able to move around, their defense is gonna stink, so they probably won't be God Squad guys. But I need Ryan Howard and Prince Fielder back in this game. Majestic home runs. I miss when those guys were staples in Diamond Dynasty. Diamond Dynasty's been around for like five or six years, and it feels like it's been around for 20. It's only getting better, though, because it'll be on Xbox and Nintendo. I can't wait for this first news drop in February. Let me know in the comments, guys, any legends you want to see in the game. If they're a different type of player tier, what type of cards would you like to see them add in next year's game? And if you have any designs that you make, make sure you're tagging me on social media. I always like checking that stuff out whenever I get some chill time on my phone. All in all, content in Diamond Dynasty is really good, and they do a really, really good job with the designs in the game, but it's also really cool to see what these guys around the community come up with on their own. As I was saying earlier, it's really cool seeing the graphic designers really using social media to put portfolios together. I mean, my, vid one, my, my guy, Tyler, who edits some of my videos, uses my videos that he edits as a portfolio on his web design page so that's really cool i like seeing that so make sure you guys are supporting those dudes man graphic designs a dog eat dog world man make sure you're showing these guys some support again links will be in the description i'll see you guys in the next one peace